Uh, I'm David Johnson and I work for the OSPAR Commission, which is an intergovernmental convention that takes care of the North East Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and it comprises 15 governments and the European Commission uh, and it sets legal, legally binding decisions for ocean policy um, and to protect the marine environment. Uh, this conference is one of the only opportunities that the global community looking to manage oceans gets together and part of the importance of that is to look at the ecosystem as a whole. So ecosystem based management which takes all the different strands of economics, social aspects, environmental aspects needs to be managed collectively. Um, we recognise that. Um, and there's political commitment to undertake ecosystem-based management. The problem is that all the setups are on a sectoral basis. So we look after shipping, we look after fisheries, we look after the environment as separate strands. And putting that together is not being achieved very well. Um, our assessments, and the OSPAR Commission is producing a big assessment in 2010, of the state of the Northeast Atlantic, our assessments are to date not very well integrated in this way and we need to move to a situation where all of those elements are properly combined. If I can give you an example, the high seas part of, of the OSPAR maritime area, which uh, is part of the wider Atlantic, has uh, huge biological importance uh, we know that seamounts, we know that hydrothermal vents, we know that fracture zones are important for all kinds of uh, biodiversity. We don't know a great deal about that biodiversity. In fact, we know more about the moon than we do about the deeper oceans. Um, but we do know that in future, in terms of issues like food security, in terms of uh, marine species, in terms of economic benefits which will develop over time, we need to protect these areas and we need to make sure that we look after them for future generations. So I think uh, the, uh, an, an aspect that is really important about this uh, ecosystem-based management is that the different competent authorities must get together and they must act collectively uh, to, to work to manage these areas properly. So in the North East Atlantic, the uh, Regional Fisheries Management Organization uh, and also the International Maritime Organization and the International Seabed Authority, together with ourselves, really needs to collectively look at what needs to be done, what priorities can be put forward, who will, will fund it, uh, and indeed, at the end of the day, who will enforce it. So, these things are, are not simple um, and they uh, belong not only with governments but they belong with individuals as well. So in terms of uh, really why, why this is important, uh, I think it's important both now for all states that have an interest in the oceans and all states that have coastline but it's important for future generations as well because uh, the decisions that we take now are going to profoundly influence life uh, in, in, for future generations.